I really wanted some competition this season, so I stopped playing for two days just to let people catch up. Let's see how it worked and let's see how much work we're now going to have to put in today to catch back up. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft OP Prison. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC. We're about to join up on the server in just a second. But guys, yesterday, like I said, we took a couple of days off to see if people could overtake me. And spoiler alert, they have. We're going to find out how much that they have overtaken me by today and try and uh, get that position back so that we are top number one spot for the season. Now, thank you to all the amazing supporters over the last couple of episodes. You guys have been absolutely killing it. And uh, to do, you know, just to thank you guys and to continually, hopefully, get your support on these videos. Then, guys, today we are going to be doing a giveaway for an extreme crate bundle, okay? It's one of the brand new bundles on the store, and it basically includes one of the last, like, four different crates that we've had and two ultimate contraband. So, guys, if you want to be in with a chance of winning that, all you need to do is like this video right now, comment your username, subscribe to the channel, and enter my Discord and press the enter button in the giveaways channel on there. Once you've done all that, then you are good to go, but let's get on with today's episode, guys because we are going to have to do some serious mining to catch up. So before we get into any mining, we need to take a look at versus top just to see how far we are behind. And as you guys can see, we are about 9,000 points behind K alt, which is uh, it's it's a good few prestiges that we're going to have to get today. Now, before we do any of that, what I did actually just want to do quickly is go to the mortar man and try and get ourselves some parts because we need to continually upgrade this guy um, because he is going to cause us a problem if we don't. So yeah, I wanted to quickly do that. Luckily, I've been saving up a lot of crystals just to go through this and uh you know trade in things that we that we have um because i really just i i really got to get this done like i really have to get these levels up because these are potentially going to be very very important in regards to uh like actually getting back on number one spot today okay i think i'm in a good position with all of that now let's put all that stuff away and uh let's get on with the episode hopefully with all this stuff we can at least upgrade my mortar one time um i think we're just going to upgrade i don't know whether i should do the like proc rate of it going off or something because i I think that might be beneficial right now. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go with fire rate. We can add one there. We could actually maybe add another one. I think. Oh, we can't quite because we need another barrel, but we can, I think, uh, add the multiplier upgrade. So I might go ahead and do that. It's already activating probably the best in chance that it can. So I'm just going to go ahead, yeah, with the multiplier upgrade. Can we do that? Yes, we can. All right, there we go. So that is that upgraded. Let's get into mining some for this episode because we definitely have to. We, we, we know for, for a fact that we need to get into mining. So as I mentioned, we have been overtaken. That was kind of part of the plan like not really but it kind of was like at the same time um i just wasn't available to record but i kind of wanted to not be available to record just so that we can get some people to overtake us so that we actually have some competition because you know uh, although it's great being out in the front it, it's sometimes nice to uh to, to be challenged so with that being said we now do officially have a challenge uh to get back to that number one spot now it may take me more than just this one episode since we've fallen behind by about two days it's probably about two days worth of progress now what we do actually have available to us is 50 dollars on the uh on the bike credit that we could actually spend today now they did actually introduce that brand new bundle which was like the extreme crate bundle or whatever it is which gives you a bunch of different crates now what i'm thinking is that we could actually purchase two of those today um and hopefully hopefully when we open them i'm basically taking a risk here hopefully we can get ourselves a big coupon out of it because i could buy more of the newer crates which would of course give me a lot more tokens or i could just go and try and get coupons out by getting the like most quantity of uh, of crates so yeah, it's kind of a risk. We either get uh, a lot of coupons or we get no coupons. So yeah, a little bit of a risk, but I think we we, we can take the risk. Now, the other thing, of course, is that my armor can still be upgraded. Now, I believe it's going to cost me 39 million to or 38 million to get this upgraded. So let's go take a look because uh, I do want to try and get all my pieces of armor to like the, the best possible place that they can be. So let's just see. There we go. Yes, 40 is max on that one. So that is now maxed out. We have a maxed out helmet. It's all about getting all the other ones now. So I I guess we're going to start with the boots because they're legendary. Might as well get the tier of that up nice and quickly. Let's just chuck that in there. I'm going to spend as much gems as I possibly have on this just to try and get that extra little prestige boost for today. All right, there we have it. That is that applied. So we now have 11% there, 13% there. Um, and then about six on each other. So we've got a really, really good boost already today. That is, of, of course, on top of our uh, ornament boost and our pet boost that we already have. So yeah, I think our main focus right now for everything 
thing in regards to getting leveled up on anything is going to be getting ourselves to rank 1000 like that is the biggest goal that we have because i think once we get there we're going to be in a very very good position once we get rank 1000 as well you guys have convinced me that we'll actually turn our nuke off because our nuke is basically stopping actually you know what i don't even know if that's beneficial i i, I was about to say that you guys have convinced me to turn it off but what i've just realized is that we won't really need tokens after a certain point because we're going to have ma like maxed out everything on my pickaxe so tokens will become pointless i believe at some point as of right now they're not pointless though so i guess what we will do is we will um i'm just going to quickly max out Mead's paypal just because it's so cheap we may as well and then get the 10 levels on profit that we can afford right now because that is going to be hopefully big for us as well we can also afford another mana booster let's get that going it's only a five minute one but you know what? It all helps the same. Part of me really hopes that when we do buy a crate bundle today, we do actually get a mana booster out of it because that higher mana boost, the two times one, is super, super effective. My last token summary was like borderline, like right on the edge of being 2Q, which is just ridiculous. Can you imagine making 2Q? Like in, in literally two, that was insane. We'll, we'll take that for sure. So yeah, I, I guess we are doing everything the right way that we should be doing it right now. Um, Again, prestige is the only thing that's going to give me a chance of coming back now. Um, So I've got to get those up i gotta focus on prestiging as fast as i possibly can we've got everything like pretty much that we can have for prestiging as fast as possible now so it's just about getting those blocks mine not being distracted by everything else going on and continually getting that prestige up i am still wondering though because it's unconfirmed whether second hand actually helps prestiging or not i don't think it does however i can almost swear that since we've had second hand i've been prestiging faster than before so I don't know whether that's just a, a you know, a, a me feeling or whether that's actually a reality, but it feels like the percentage goes up a little bit faster than before we had that enchant, so I don't know. So I actually just recorded a little segment right there, but I'm, I'm going to cut it out because <laughs> I want to keep a little bit of a surprise for you guys over the next coming days. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a good surprise, but it also kind of gives me a little bit of an edge. So yeah, I, I just want to leave that surprise for right now, and you guys will hopefully find out in the coming days. But there is another prestige. Let's go and use our skill tree tokens as well because we've actually got a couple that we can use and it's going to give me actually a pickaxe xp boost and a crystal boost so we'll take those um oh is this three now oh we've gone up to the three skill point section now so we're in the big boy leagues um but yes we've got uh, we've got some good surprises coming up guys don't don't you worry so my progress already today brings me at least a thousand points closer so we're only about uh, i think we're about eight thousand points away from now so that would equate to about nine prestiges at our current rate um, so we're not doing too badly. Nine prestiges is, is definitely doable. Um, so yeah, we, we got a little bit of focusing up to do, but not too many. I think we might take a break from mining here in just a second, just to do uh, a little crate opening. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go and withdraw all the coupons that I have and uh, essentially go and buy all the crates in the store. And I'll see you guys in a second. So two of these extreme OP crate bundles. Uh, there we go. Zero dollars. We're going to get that put through right now. Okay, the deal is done. They should come through any second, hopefully. And then we can get to opening those. Honestly, I just hope we get some big, big coupons or at least the Phoenix crates, which I think, wait, I think they're Phoenix crates the best crate that recently came out i think hopefully it gives me enough tokens to max out my uh my profit which is my next enchant which is kind of that i'm aiming to max out so hopefully at least one of those two things can happen even if we just get 20 dollars back i think i'll still be happy all right we officially have our crates let's do a little bit of an opening um let's go and get these out of the way because they're not even part of it these are easter crates we're gonna open them best to or worst to best sorry um so that's if i can even freaking sort these out right now we, let's just start with the ultimate contract bands because i think we all know that those are theoretically the worst but actually i've i've gotten some pretty good things out of them before so yeah start of the world i believe it is then voltage what do we get anything good uh nothing good out of those all right let's go start of the world then we have voltage um i believe and then we should have um easter and then we'll have phoenix i believe all right what are we getting 1.5 times toga boost of 20 damn that was very bad actually not great at all not great at all all right come on voltage crates I, I, these are where these are the crates where i really need to give me uh really really need them to give me gc gotta have coupons epic robots oh no oh no i mean once we finally get that uh that trading thing out then this these are gonna be good things but right now yeah this is not looking good not looking good at all all right two easter crates and then we're gonna be onto the phoenix crates i really hope that uh something here is gonna give me something of use this might actually be worse than the last one i don't really remember 
Wow. Wow. We're getting absolutely scammed right now, guys. We're getting absolutely scammed. We are getting nothing good here. Um, and that is very, very unfortunate for us. Um, okay. Well, here we go. Two Phoenix crates, the brand new ones. At least, if nothing, we'll get some tokens out of this. Hopefully. Imagine we don't even get tokens out of this. Wow. B virtually no tokens out of these. $20 coupon. Okay. We did get $20 back. That is kind of what I was aiming for to at least get $20 back. So we'll take that on the last one right there. Can this one give me a couple more tokens here? Akuma plus rank. Okay. All right. Well, we know that we're going to be set out for a fact once that trade comes in. Once that trade comes in, we are, wow, we're going to be in a very, very good place now. Up until that point though, we are pretty much poor now. So uh, yeah, we got to, we got to, we got to be careful of that. So we have two Akuma plus ranks to trade in now, which is just insane, realistically. Um, so yeah, that was a, I'll take the W opening because I know that that is going to hit me back in a very, very good way. Once that uh, black market versus thing comes out, that will be insane. But does it give me enough to max out profit? It does just, wow, that was really good math. <laughs> we just managed to max out profit, but there we go. That is our next enchant max. So we're all the way max now up to profit. Everything is max. So then we've got meteorite, which needs four more levels only cluster bomb, which needs a lot of levels and then meteor at level 400 pickaxe, which we're going to have to continue working towards. Alrighty, so we are approaching Prestige 49 now. So, um, yeah, we've made some good progress today. And I think that uh, I've been mining for about half an hour. So I think when we mine, we can get four Prestiges in an hour. So that's not really a problem. That is a good amount of Prestiges to be getting in an hour. And, uh, you know, I think that that is a that is, is good number to shoot for. So I'm going to go ahead and Prestige right now. Uh, we're going to get that done. There we go. And then, of course, we can upgrade our next level on the skill tree as well, um, which will be 5% pickaxe XP boost, which is perfect. Perfect. And uh, there we have it. So yeah, we've done a bunch of upgrades already today. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these 52 levels onto Cluster Bomb as well to help get that up there. Um, I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go into my gem enchants and I might just add the five levels here of second hand just to get that up there a little bit more as well. And uh, then we're going to call it a day for today's episode. Obviously, I'm going to continue mining off camera because I don't want to waste any of that precious mining time. In fact, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to hub so that we don't waste any of that time. Um, so yes, I'm going to do the next half an hour off camera, but that is kind of exactly where we're sitting right now, guys. We are in a comeback situation. Don't worry, though. I've got things up my sleeves to ensure that we come out on top on this versus series, guys. Um, hopefully, you have enjoyed this episode. Just kind of a little bit of a grindy episode and, uh, you know, finding ways to kind of uh to get to number one again is going to be the 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 little bit of exploring that we do once that black market does come out though and we can trade in the items that we're getting from crates that we can't use like the akuma plus rank and stuff then we are going to uh we're gonna have a big big crate opening because i'm gonna have a lot of coupons saved up from that but guys that is where i'm gonna go ahead and end off this episode if you have enjoyed it make sure you do hit that like button for me if you're not already subscribed make sure you do that as well that'd be much appreciated and guys i will see you all in the next episode of op prisons here on akuma mc <laughs>